Hello YouTube, this is Charan. In this video, I'll be showing how to compress image size and retain good quality even after you compress image. So the software which you're gonna use here is KCM. Let us download the software first. Type in KCM Image Composer in the Google. Click on the very first link. Go to Downloads. As you can see, it's an open source image. This is a free tool. The source code is available for developer as well and uh, there are two types of installer one is the traditional installer the other one is portable uh, yeah you'll have to just extract the zip file and start using the software so let us download the portable one click on download and i'll give you this uh, link in the description below you can directly click on the link and uh, download the software and once you're into this link just click on the download uh, case image composer portable it's 21 MB uh, file okay it's downloading right uh, once it's uh, downloaded uh, what you'll have to do is extract the file okay and like I said it's a portable software there's no need of installation so click on kcm.exe and you're good to go you're good to use the software so let us compress an image now it's very easy to import a uh, image into KCM. just drag and drop and uh, you can set the quality uh, I'll set the quality to 50% and uh, you can select the output format I'll select the output format as input what it does is the output format would be the same as the input format. If it's JPEG, the output would be JPEG. If the input is PNG, the output would be PNG. Okay, uh, let me set the image quality now. It's set to 50%. And uh, if you want to resize the image, you can just click on the resize and uh, give your width and height. If you want to retain the same image resolution, you can give the percentage and give it as 100% for both width and height. And you can just apply as you can see now the new resolution has been applied and I set it to 100% so it is same as the input resolution okay and uh, you can select the output folder and if you want the output folder to be same as the input then I can select same as same folder as input and uh, when you're doing this you'll have to give a suffix if you don't give a suffix the compressed image with uh, the compressed image would uh, replace the original image okay so i'm giving the suffix so that i need both compressed always as well as the original image okay once you're done this click on compress as you can see it didn't take even a second uh, to compress uh, the original size was 2713 that is almost 2.4 MB now it has come down to 544 KB it's almost uh, four to five times uh, smaller than the original image and uh, if you want to preview this image you can preview here before you compress suppose you want to set it to 40 percent what you can do is can go to action and preview this is the original image and this is the compressed one as you can see the image quality is pretty good so let us compress once again the image size has been further re reduced to 474 KB because it was previously set to 50% now I set it to 40% and even after setting to 40% the image quality seems to be pretty good as you can see here uh, there is a original image here which is of 2 MB and uh, this is an compressed image it is of 474 KB see the quality of the image okay this is a compressed one now let me toggle this is the original image let me toggle between both as you can see I'm toggling between both and the image quality seems to be same unless you can make the difference only when you zoom zoom in if you're not zooming in the image quality seems to be almost the same 
so this type of compression would be uh, handy when you're using bulk images in your uh, website it can reduce the size and retain the good quality and use it in your website so let me s explain you guys how to uh, compress bulk image let me delete the image and uh, let me go to any other folder okay uh, i'll compress this images all together at once the image the folder size is 30 mb i'll select all drag and drop as you can see there's a 64 files and i'll set the quality of the image to 50 percent and when you're doing it for bulk bulk image you have to select this same for all and set quality as you can see it is set to all the files the same thing goes here you'll have to select same for all and apply and uh, you can select the output fol folder i i will select the output folder same as the input folder and i want to replace the origi or original uh, file here so i'll take this out now what it'll do is it'll replace the original files so i'll start to compress now the image are getting compressed it takes some time as we are imported 62 files all right it hardly took uh, less than 30 seconds to compress 62 images right the previous file size i mean the folder size was 30 mb now let us see what is the size of the folder as you can see the folder size has come from 30 mb to 18 mb so this is how you compress bulk images and uh, if there is any queries please let me know in the comments below and if this video was helpful please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and i'll keep posting much much more similar videos thank you